Paul Bryant, 46 to 53. This marker of the old Stallfield's 50-yard line has special significance to UK alumni Ree and Lou Carabo. Every time we go by it, he'll say, there it is. The 50-yard you know. line. Sometimes I think, oh, he's going to say, there it is again, but that's all right. I just let him say, there it is again. <laughs> Lou, who grew up in Louisville, is one of the few Kentucky football players to say he was recruited by the legendary Bear Bryant. I had never been here, walked into place, they offered me a scholarship. I said, yes, sir. He, he was such a presence that I, it's hard for me to imagine you could even refuse it. <laughs> Ree says it's a good thing Lou didn't, because the very next year, she arrived on campus. I wanted to come to UK, and I loved every minute of it. Especially the part where we met Lou at the Student Union. In between classes, uh, a lot of people would stop there, either eat or get a Coke or whatever, and that's where I met him. And even though we're both from Louisville, I don't think I ever heard of Flash A, you know, that I, I hadn't heard of Fairdale. No, you hadn't. <laughs> So anyway, but that's how we met, there, and uh, had an awful lot of fun. We were in a group, I don't think it exists any longer, oh, called yeah. the Troopers. Troopers. We did a lot of entertaining and together. She was a dancer. Dancer, and I was a trampoline Trample. person. He made the first move in when he was, when we were in Troopers, he was on the trampoline, and I got a little smart aleck in me. And so I said, oh, that doesn't look too tough to me. Of course, he was just flipping and flipping, you know. <laughs> so as Reed cheered on the sidelines of Stall Field where Lou played, they began to date, despite some pretty strict rules on campus at the time. So totally different than today. Lots of curfews. The women were all sequestered over uh -huh. on this side of right campus, there. and the men were mostly sequestered on the other side and you walked everywhere. And there was no living together in the dorms, you know. <laughs> we were here too early. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the curfews, Ree and Lou fell in love, and the rest is history. We were married in 1956, and in May it will be 57 years. <laughs> I had to figure that, wait a minute. <laughs> It doesn't sound like long if you say it fast. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. And, and you know, time just flies, but we've enjoyed every minute of it. So today, they enjoy reliving memories. I forgot how to do that. <laughs> and making some new ones. Look at this wildcat. On the campus, which means so much to both of them. We really prospered because of, yeah. of UK. UK is special place. It is a special place.